Now, as the GOP convention gets underway, both the Republicans and the Democrats in the U.S. are putting the final touches to their four-year policy platforms. The two may not have much in common, but there is one point of intersection. Both parties have taken a hardline stance on North Korea. Our Oh Soo Young tells us more. Both of America's main political parties have strongly denounced the North Korean regime and their four-year policy platforms. The documents, while not binding, reflect the formal stance of the party on major issues and act as a guideline for the presidential nominees and other elected officials. The Republican Party branded the regime as a slave state under the Kim family in its final platform paper released at the National Party Convention on Monday. It emphasized China's role in bringing change to the status quo for the sake of, quote, everyone's safety against nuclear disaster, adding that the U.S. will continue to push for a complete and irreversible closure of Pyongyang's nuclear weapons program. The Democratic Party also expressed its tough foreign policy against the North in the draft platform released earlier this month. The document calls leader Kim Jong-un a sadistic dictator running perhaps the most repressive regime on the planet. And it accuses presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump of sympathizing with him. It says Trump threatens to abandon America's allies, South Korea and Japan, while encouraging a build-up of nuclear weapons in the region. The draft platform says that the Democratic Party, on the other hand, will deepen America's key alliances in Asia, including with South Korea and Japan, in order to push back against North Korean aggression, along with adding to the pressure on Beijing to compel its neighbor to give up its nuclear missile programs. The final version of the Democrats' official platform will be adopted at the party convention to be held in Philadelphia next week. Oh Soo Young, Arirang News.